I want you to get promoted at work. I want you to get loads of new clients. I want your students to be really excited about your lessons. I want to dissolve the barriers of remote video so you can actually find yourself more expressive on Zoom than even over a cup of coffee. my title sequence uh yeah uh, 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 my little sizzle roll there not my favorite but you know we're kind of rushing these out we're doing them every week this is squares tv app lab number 49 where i show you how to wring every drop of value from your apple devices when you're doing remote video basically so i make stuff for macs and iphones and ipads knit it all together into something that you can use for zoom for teams for Ecamm Live for, you know, for um, OBS, for, for all of these things that get you your video onto the internet, which I really believe is the best way if you're doing anything in the world. Uh, at once you're kind of on video on the internet and it looks good and it sounds good, it just opens a lot of doors that would otherwise not be open. So we've got a private Zoom, we've got a public YouTube stream, and we, so I'll take questions in chat. I'll, I'll keep an ear out for those on YouTube. And then um, you put up your hand on uh, Zoom as well if you, if you, if you have questions there. I, I've sort of, it's a relatively quick session today, I think. So I am relying on, on questions if you do have them. But yeah, Happy New Year and welcome. <laughs> it's good to see you. I did miss last week. I was stuck on a train. Um, it was just not going to be possible. So anyway, I think it's okay. It was nice to have a whole week off for once. Let's go. Um, so today we are going to talk about how to get started freeing yourself from the spirit crushing oblong of that webcam thumbnail. And if you're so if you're not comfortable on Zoom or Teams or whatever, then this is going to be way out of your comfort zone. If you're not sort of pretty happy going on a video call and finding your microphone and this and that, probably this is going to you, you sort of got to get me a bit more comfortable there. But if you are a bit more used to the world of remote work and remote meetings, then I'm going to show you how to come across as a freaking genius on those calls. Um, if you have worked with complex AV pipelines, then I'm going to give you a way to do all that great stuff with a fraction of the effort and without needing a load of hardware running 27 different apps on your Mac as you do it. I've, if you've done it the hard way, I'm going to show you the good way. And if you don't have a Mac, then this is just going to make you realize you need one. Um, and good morning, Nobby. Nice to see you. So here's a scenario. You've got a call coming up. I don't know who it's with. I just know it's a big opportunity and you don't want to mess it up. And you know you need some sort of deck, some, maybe some words on the screen, maybe some pictures, maybe a video. Uh, but before you jump into Keynote, I want you to think about how that's going to look on the webcam. So you'll say hello. You'll share your screen, like you'll be like, oh, can I share my screen? You'll share it and then you're going to like disappear into this tiny little thumbnail in the corner and you can be sort of giving, you can be <laughs> the most charismatic person in the world, but they're not going to see your face. They're just going to see whatever like one slide that it happened to have landed on while you were talking enthusiastic about your thing. Your passion and expertise are going to get suffocated and for what? Because you wanted to put a bullet point up and you wanted to put a little graph up. So which is, you know, like most decks, you don't need a lot of stuff to get your point across when you, you're you there. So, um, yeah, again, like if you've made a video, good luck getting that to work as well. So if, especially with sound, like if you want the other person to see that video and play that back, like it's just, it's just going to be difficult to do and you're going to wish you were in a room. But uh, this is where QCam Presenter comes in. So, Let's in this scenario, you haven't tried it before, and that's what we're talking about. It's the first week of the month, so you're new to it. Um, you haven't tried it before, but it's clear that if you can get it working and get the hang of using it, you're going to get that money or convince those people or whatever it is you're trying to do on this call. Um, so, first, yeah, QCam Presenter, it's a presentation tool for your webcam. It gives you a virtual camera, a virtual microphone. You select QCam in Zoom and the QCam mic in Zoom. And then all the stuff you saw in that little title sequence, you can start dra dragging images, dragging um, videos in, um, put, you know, and having your sort of sequence of things. But whilst you remain the main event, 
it doesn't sort of take away from your presence in the room. So the first thing you're going to do is just go to the website, um, which is qcam-presenter.shop. We'll get to this at the end, but you're going to download it and you're going to keep clicking on things on the website. You're not going to have to log in or anything. You're just going to go to the website, download it, and just like keep clicking on it until you see this thing. So this is telling you what to do. You are going to take this and you're going to put it in there. You're not going to double, do not double click this. This is not for double clicking. This is for dragging. Put it in there. That's step one. So um, if it's got a line through it, then you probably have to upgrade your Mac to Sonoma, which you should just do. It'll take about half an hour and it's basically identical to the previous Mac OS. So just you need Sonoma. I'm using some stuff that's not available in previous Mac OS versions. Um, but also, yeah, it, it's just it's, you've got to do it like it's, it's been a few months now. You might as well bite the bullet. Um, so there you go. So just double click or single click QCAM or whatever you need to do to launch an app and just start. Basically, you're just going to start saying yes to everything. It's going to be like, boo, 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 give me this, give me that, give me the other. It's going to say like, because this is powerful software. So it needs to be able to share your screen and connect to your camera and microphone and connect to the network. So just don't try and be clever. Don't read all this stuff and make individual decisions. Just say yes, 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 yes. It's not going to hurt your computer. There's nothing hidden in there to trick you. It just needs all this stuff to work. And it does give you instruction on some of the stuff is a bit fiddly. Don't blame me. Blame Apple. Um, even though they are uh, a plat the only platform I would even attempt this on, they have got a lot of little fiddly things that you have to do, but it will take you through it um, on its own. It's going to sort of show you where you need to click and what you need to do. Um, and you're only going to need to restart your computer once. Don't keep restarting it whenever something doesn't keep to work. This isn't Windows. You're just going to be wasting your time. Restart, restart. And, and I get so many emails. I restarted 27 times. And it still doesn't work. I'm like, no. If it didn't work when you restarted once, like let's just just email me. <laughs> we'll figure it out. Um, probably there's a bug. <clears throat> um, and you just want to get this checklist. So it's just going to give you this checklist. Uh, when do you restart? When you see, you know, those are kind of in that state. As many things are checked as, as can be checked. But basically, the only one is the virtual mic. That's the only thing that needs a restart of the computer. Um, so any other issues, stop restarting your computer a million times. It's not going to help. Um, so um, and just like this might seem like a lot um, once, you know, when you're going through the steps and it's this and that and the other one, you're like, ah, oh, did I miss something? And sometimes the windows can sort of get lost in the background. But just remember the words of Abraham Lincoln. Give me six hours to chop down a tree and I will spend the first four sharpening the axe. And this is what we're doing. We're sharpening our axe. Um, so it's it's going to be like 20 minutes and then you're going to have like a really sharp axe and you're going to be this dude. Um, <laughs> but anyway, then what you're going to be able to do. This is so short. Basically everything you just saw me doing. So look, I showed you pictures and I put up titles and videos and we can have bullet points and all sorts and played music and and I did not once have to say, oh, can you see my screen? Is it ready yet? Like that's the whole point of this. You get this thing on, you turn it into a habit where you just use this camera instead of the other thing. It has a fraction of the complexity of any of the other sort of live streaming software and other other things that where, where you've got to sort of like set up a virtual camera, set up your scenes. If you want to share something, you've got to set up another scene. You've got to figure out how you're going to switch them. This is just something you just stick in. You're now not running a million different bits and bobs and the others. So um, it, it, and, and it just unlocks the power of I, I think basically your 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 devices in a very new way and and we, we will get into how it does that like there's a lot going on behind the scenes it's been quite hard to get it to something that's like stable and there's still tweaks here and there but you know if there's a bit of an audio crackle there may have been some yeah well <laughs> you don't have to be this <laughs> i've got to remember to like do these things um what, what was what was this part of like um yeah so this is you don't have to say can i see my screen you don't have to fumble about with a massive control panel and you don't have to remember a single thing like i didn't have to remember any of the things i was going to say today i just put them on my little cue cards i'm reading them off half the time it's showing you the content it's showing you the thing i'm trying to make it a bit more snappy to try and if you know the whole point is I, I, I can spend like a couple of hours planning this 
and it's pretty good right like i'm sure it'd be better if i spent a week um but with the power with this toolkit available just being able to stick some titles stick some graphics you know i, I you know I even sort of went offline and made a quick video in cap cut uh, just to sort of see what that would feel like um but yeah obviously like all new software is a nightmare i do understand this and this is why these sessions are developing every week so first we get it on your computer we get you over that hurdle of Okay, do I have to upgrade my Mac? Okay, do I need to, do I have an iPad that it works on? Do I, you know, do I have this, that and the other? But you can try, you can get it all up and running for free. There is no, you don't have to like commit to anything. You just have to like try and set it up, see if you can just get that landing screen up. And then like, that's the hard part, like by a long way, I think. Um, so, you know, it's, cause this is like, this is new software. This, there isn't really anything else like this out there not 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 with the same sort of user interface paradigm like I'm, I'm sort of taking from sort of like this cue card text-based editor like if you want to see what i'm working with here um just a little sneak like this is what this is what i've got going i've got these cue cards and the cue cards have things attached to them i've got my ipad over here where i'm drawing and i can select different things on the ipad so and i've you know i've got a stream deck down here but it's sort of a text-based thing and we can sort of add things on these little cue cards and i can just drag and drop things up there but honestly like if it's a little bit sort of intimidating um a it's nowhere near as intimidating as something like obs but and b like it, it is because it's a slightly different way of thinking. And once you sort of get into that mindset of this cue card based presentation thing, I think you're going to have a really great time with it. And people are going to, like, as I say, it's going to make you look like a freaking genius. And you're not going to have to have done a load of stuff to, to, to do that, to come across that way. Um, so really your homework is, is to download and install QCAM for free from QCAM-presenter.com QCAM if you haven't already. Um, so I, I see, let me see if there's any questions. Um, I see a nice one from Cyprian Lomas, looking good, thank you Cyprian. Um, and I see that you are installing an update and I also just see a question. How many displays do you have connected to your Mac, says Cyprian. Uh, this is coming through on the live stream, but not on the Zoom. Um, so the answer to that, so I have, I've got, I've got um, my laptop screen, I've got a large display, like a 4K display to the side, which is sort of where I put my bits and bobs when I'm live streaming. And I've got an iPad. Well, so I've got like a teleprompter thing. I can show you. See, this is one of these awesome things. Let me show you. Like I, I can, you know, we can be in mid conversation. I can launch shoot. I can go to the drop down menu at the top of my screen and go share um, cameras, shoot on Michael's phone. <laughs> it's on green screen mode. Let's just put it on there on the normal on the on the let's go for this one. Um, and now you can see so I've got this screen. Like how easy was that? Like it's wirelessly connected. I didn't have to plan this. I just selected it from the menu at the top of the screen. So this is my main, this is my uh, screen here. This is where I sort of have my bits and bobs. Got a little uh, stream deck. Um, I've got my laptop and then I've got an iPad up in the teleprompter and like my big camera like behind there. <laughs> and I'm literally just in the, in the spare room of this rented flat. And I've got a couple, well, if I show you, I've got like, um, I've got a fill light up here and I've got like a couple of colored lights just balanced on things behind me. You see there's like moving boxes and stuff. So, um, but like the, the cool thing about this is, um, you, you don't even, um, you don't even, you don't even need this, right? So when I was, when we were up here in July and I only had my iPad, my iPhone and my Mac, I put my iPhone on a selfie stick. I, um, I, I can I can use the iPhone as my camera, as my teleprompt, as my program preview, all through shoot. It just automatically connects to QCAM. I can see what I've got to say. I can see what's showing on the screen at the moment. And I can also, if I can either put myself, if I'm live streaming, or I can put whoever I'm talking to on Zoom, that can be coming up on my phone. Um, so this is just some of the stuff. It's all using the same technology. Um, so I was able to do basically the same thing the iPad becomes the stream deck as well as video pencil. You can you can have your navigation control. So I'm stepping forwards and backwards through my thing with with the with the stream deck or the keyboard shortcuts. But you can also do it on the iPad and you can see, you know, what you have to say. So uh, this is sort of like my big rig. But when I'm on the go, it's just a, 
iPad, iPhone, I, I you know, Apple, uh, MacBook, and and that's enough uh, to do basically the same thing. <laughs> and so I just had a little bag. So if you look at some of the the videos I did over the summer, like maybe I'll bring that back um, soon. But yeah, so this is this is this is the thing I see. Um, another hello to, to Lorenzo and I see the delivery doctor says what are you using for your iPad slash teleprompter connection yeah that's duet um which uh, yeah I find pretty useful and actually I do I really do want to get a um uh, an Elgato prompter right I really need to make that video where I show how to use all this with that and I think there's probably some tweaks I need to do because it's quite a low resolution screen because what's actually really nice about using an iPad rather than you know, like a Lilliput or, you know, one of these other devices that's just a, just a screen is like you get a much higher pixel density and much better colors, I think. And sometimes you actually care about that because you're looking at the camera feed and you sort of you, you want to be able to judge those colors a bit better and sort of cheap external displays um, often don't have quite the same color uh, quality. So you, you can end up not seeing. Right. And then and Josh says uh, the iPad is also much brighter than most screens as well. So yeah, it's, it's actually pretty good. And then just with Duet, they will try and like push you into like some sort of like more expensive subscription thing. And it's quite confusing how to get. And there is a bug in the menu system in the app. I've, I discovered after using it for a couple of years, there's a bug that sometimes the menu section that you need to access the teleprompter setting isn't there. So you sort of have to quit and bring it back and it will suddenly reappear randomly and then you can find it. And you need that. You need that like $20 a year in app purchase just to be able to flip it for the teleprompter. So, you know, if you look at the iPad, it's upside down it's like well no you're not gonna be able to see it's gonna be like it's gonna flip everything so that it works in that in that mirror but or you could just use shoot and just do it like that so uh <laughs> hi chris thank you <laughs> for your positive comment how many i haven't actually looked oh we've got like 13 people so um yeah so I, I, I thought I'd try something with possibly, I don't know, with, I don't know if people liked the email. I saw more unsubscribes than usual, but I do want to start getting a bit more. I think I'm very cautious with, with the way I, I, um, I think I'm a bit like guarded often and I, I want to sort of like loosen up a bit on this stuff and have a bit more fun with these sessions because it's, it's like technical stuff, but I think we can have more fun with this stuff. So your homework is to install QCAM Presenter. My homework is like, I, I am sharpening my tools. I'm <laughs> that you'll be able to use but I'm getting ready for BET uh, education conference in London um, in January so I'm looking for people to meet up with when I am down in London I don't live in London anymore I live in Edinburgh so I've actually got to fly down to a conference which I used to be able to get the tube to um, but yeah I'm going to be down there so if anyone knows anyone in education or anyone that's going to be around there I, 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 I want to get this system I, I want to start the process of getting educators on on this platform um, and I have no idea what's involved in that um, I knew the first step was to be able to have the capability of selling like bulk licenses into institutions which just wasn't possible before QCAM presenter um, but then the next step is okay what's actually involved in that who do we need to talk to who do what, what who <laughs> like what is involved what are those IT systems like what's going on I don't know um, but yeah that that's my main priority for the next couple of weeks is sort of like getting everything geared up towards that um i i have a couple of betas on on test flight if you like shoot beta it has the uh, apple LUT support it has um ipad usb camera support that's not in the app store yet if you uh, if you have seen anything with that i know there's one thing with shoot on the ipad that it, it's not gonna it's not really monitoring for usb devices being plugged and unplugged but apart from that it should be okay um and so uh, yeah video pencil your your uh, sparkle wand is gonna expire in a few days as the holidays end and the christmas tree comes down um so yeah and i see that james gets extra points for already having done the homework looking forward to using this and yeah like a new year new resolutions now's the time you know you sort of form new habits start things if you're interested i do actually have another cup you know in in a previous app developer life i have an app called uh, good habits and an app called changes so if you are making changes or you want to track that you're doing something every day i do have a couple of apps in the app store for that if you look under good to hear um this is a great time of year to do that 
they're much 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 cheaper than these videos at video apps like they're free or like 3.99 forever so it's like I, this before i realized that people actually need this stuff um yeah so happy new year everyone um we are you know I, i'm waiting for questions if you if anyone's got anything on zoom i can sort of like dial you in um if anyone's got anything on um on youtube then just like uh chuck a comment in if not, I'm going to like move to this call to action squares.tv slash discord. We're getting to a decent size now. Sort of like um, there's a few people in there. Um, the more people I can get in there, the more chance there will be of one wonderful day where someone asks a question and someone else answers it and I can just like not get involved. <laughs> it's a question about shoot, question about video pencil. Um, it's going to happen. Maybe it happened like once last May, but um, I, I'm really looking forward to that time. So, you know, uh, going there, there's lots of opportunities to help people out as they're getting started. And, and I'm trying to make it a little bit more um, um, uh, stuff. Sorry, I got distracted by comments. So a quick thing, curious when QCam loads up, does it also does it also start up Apple Script? Um, the only thing QCam uses Apple Script for is to install the virtual camera. So it just runs a quick Apple script to sort of copy it into the into the, the the plugins folder, but that's the only that's the only time you should see any Apple script uh, coming out of Qcam Presenter. Okay, to play us out, I'm gonna I'm gonna give you a little bit of a song from my back catalogue. It is probably the silliest one. So this is to ring in 2024. I hope you enjoy it. See you on Discord. And uh, look forward to seeing you next week where we will talk about, we're going to talk about, um, <laughs> that next week we're going to talk about like a, a, a journey, like a use case. So I think that's going to be like, I think one of the ones I'm quite interested in is um, doing fundraising with QCAM Presenter. I want to flesh that one out and see how that feels as a, as a demo. Yeah, we, I've got, this is like the most viewers we've had. This is a decent number of viewers this week. I'm very happy. So thank you, everyone. We'll keep it short. There's no need to drag it out if there's not questions. Um, we, we may move to a bit of a Q&A format as we get to uh, February when it's born. Um, but yeah, I'm working on that with uh, with with some friends. And we'll, we'll, uh, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll try and figure something out like that out so that I can keep these going um, when I have had one hour of sleep a night for um, weeks on end. But yeah. See you next week and uh, we'll, we'll get started into, into like what you actually do with this thing. OK, and here is Peanut. I'm a little 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 peanut.